Hi guys, this is Sanjay. Today we're going to see about the key management system services in Google Cloud. So what is KMS? So it's actually the key management service in Google Cloud where we create key rings and the keys for encryption. So usually when you create any resource in GCP, it's encrypted by GMEK. It's a Google managed encryption key. So any resource you create, it's already means it's always encrypted. But means if you don't believe in means uh, if you are in corporate and if you don't want to use the Google managed encryption key, you can always create your customer managed encryption key, which is called CMEK. So with KMS, you can encrypt a resource with CMEK. So for CMEK encryption, we create a key for any resource. Every resource in GCP actually has a service agent, which is usually of this type which is service, then project number, then the red service name, then gserviceaccount.com. So what we usually do, first we create the key, and then we bind that key with the service account and give that service account a role in crypt decrypt. So this service account has authority to encrypt the whole resource. So it's like um, you are the owner of that, uh, this service account is the owner of that resource and what it can do, it can go ahead and encrypt the resource. So this is why we are binding with the service account with the actual encryption key. So further we'll see um, in our next tutorials like uh, how we can bind a compute instance service account with the key that we have created in this tutorial. And then we'll try to create one compute instance with it with the CMEK encryption. All right guys, uh, let's get our hand dirty and let's start creating these KMS keys in our Google Cloud account. Let's go ahead. All right, so let's uh, clone one empty repository that we have already created. And I'll add it in my description letter. Right. So let's uh, create a main.tf. and variables.tf where we'll define the variables. Terraform.tf ours where we'll give the definition of the variables. Now our provider is Google. Let's add the project. Soon, we will keep it default for our Google project. To add the variables for this project and zone. See our project ID. Add the zone now. Project ID, let's define it. We can pull it from our previous project. You don't really, or you can get it from your console itself. But we used it in our previous project, so we can get it from the previous project itself. All right, that's our project ID. zone is us east 1b and you can check the zones uh, at google site in google site as well what are the zones available now let's define the key ring google kms key ring and keep it default the name is default all right now we'll define the name of it and where it's going to be located. 
Let's give the definition. And we are creating the keyring in East. So let's mention that. Let's get the keyring name here. So because we have to define the variable here. So string type. Ring name you can give anything you want. No ring location. It's a east ring that way. We are creating it in east, but you can create it in uh, um, any of the reason you want, and also it can be multi reason. Let's give the location as US East. Let's let, uh, give the value here. Var dot ring location var dot ring name. All right. Now let's create the symmetric key in that key ring. So in one keyring you may have you can have more than one keys. It's like you have a keyring uh, of your house and means uh, if you like you have a keyring and you keep the key of your house, your car and everything. It's the same thing like you can keep multiple encryption keys in that symmetric or asymmetric. You have to mention which keyring you are where you're going to create your key so then we can take it from here now let's take the output of this so we'll get the output name means whatever key ring it's going to create we'll get the output here so we can use those key later okay let's get the output of game as key name as well Now let's run the plan in it first. Let's run Terra for a minute. Terraform plan. It will show us what it's going to do. So it's going to create us to one key ring and one key. Let's apply. All right. So yes. Okay. See the output. It gave us the key ring and the key. Let's. Yep. That's good. Now let's add it there on our notepad for the future purpose. All right. All right, guys, so I'll add this, uh, all the information um, in the detailed description of this tutorial and uh, I'll add the GitHub repo. And please go ahead with the rest of the tutorial if you wanna learn how to set up account and uh, how you can create a computer instance and how you can create your GCS buckets using the Terraform. And thank you very much.